You're listening to Coffee Break Flight Instruction by M0A.com. Flight train tips in 15 minutes or less. Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com alongside certified flight instructor extraordinaire uh, Larry Diamond. You guys are listening to Coffee Break Flight Instruction. Flight train tips in 15 minutes or less. And that reminds me, let's start the timer so we can keep that statement true. Today we're talking ATC light gun signals. I lose my radios. My primary radio goes out. I squawk 7600, assume it's not an alternator issue. Bringing up a good point pretty early on here. Battery goes out, alternator goes out, guys. You can squawk all day, but nobody's going to see it. So what do we do? I've got to enter that traffic pattern normally, or I've got to circle above that tower to try to get their attention and try to get some ATC light gun signals. And this is the thing, guys. All right. I'm not expecting you to memorize, you know, every single little thing. But I am, and your examiner is expecting you to memorize the basics. What do I define the basics as? I want to know my stuff in the air, primarily coming into land and on the ground taxiing back to my um, you know, hangar or the FBO, the ramp, wherever I'm based at. Larry and I were sharing, you know, before we started talking about this, why on earth would anybody leave the ground? if they knew their radios weren't working. You know, so for example, you know, a steady green on the ground is cleared for takeoff. Good to know, but why would I do that? If I started up the airplane, couldn't get a hold of anybody, realized my radios weren't working, I would shut down right where I'm at and I would get out my handheld radio. If I didn't have a handheld radio, and you all should have a handheld radio, I'd be going from T-hanger to T-hanger asking somebody if I could borrow their handheld radio if I really had to be wherever I was going that bad. But the funny thing about aviation is, you never have to be anywhere that bad. So what I want you guys to focus on, I have a great image, it's up on my other screen here, I'll share that with you guys. Um, what these light gun signals mean on the ground and in flight. Okay, our steady green in the air, I'm clear to land. Our flashing green in the air, return to land. Okay, return to land, what exactly does you know, that mean, have I taken off and they're telling me to come back? Am I even really looking back at the tower? You know, is that one so essential? I really want to know my steady green that I'm clear to land. And most importantly, though, I need to know my steady red, which is give way to other aircraft. All right. You are not per se in an emergency situation. You have not declared, you know, it's an emergency. Everything, if the engine's still running, everything's working great. You still have to finagle your way into that traffic pattern and adhere to that normal traffic pattern. You can't just expect my radios are dead, I'm going straight in, that airport is mine, uh, you know, because this is basically an emergency. That's not how this thing works. You know, you still have to adhere to all traffic pattern rules and regulations, uh, you know, for your airport, you know, standard patterns, etc. whether it be a left traffic or right traffic. So you need to know that. So steady red in the air, come in land, give way to other aircraft. A flashing red in the air. Airport unsafe, do not land. You would think that one would be important, okay? Airport unsafe, do not land. What are they talking about there? Well, maybe they, they've got something else on top of your situation. They've got disabled aircraft on the runway. You know, something happened. It could be something minor. Somebody just blew a tire, but they're stuck out there on the runway, so you can't land. You've got to know the basics. Um, Larry, any comments, uh, you know, on that before I go a little bit further? Maybe share some stuff from your double eye check ride or your, was it the single eye check ride? Oh, okay. um, the first question they asked me is they said, okay, you have a student and you're just kind of west of the airport and all of a sudden you lose your radios. What's the first thing you're going to do? Or how are you going to teach it to a student maybe that's out on a solo cross country and things like that? Mm -hmm. And the biggest thing that I told them, I says, first you have to almost like make the tower aware that you're out there and you're having a radio failure. So I said, circle in front of them, but still stay within a mile and a half, maybe two miles away, depending on what the visibilities are. And so this is another reason why I always look at what the weather is and even calling ahead on the AWOS and seeing what runways that people are using, even after you take off or when you get to an airport that you're going to because mm -hmm. you pretty much know which runway they should be using based on the winds and they're not going to really change that much probably over a couple hours at least from my standpoint so if I know that the winds are coming from the southwest at my airport I'll bet you 100% of the time they're going to be runway 24 
Mm -hmm. And so I kind of know where they're going to be looking, what the entrance patterns are for at least my airport, and that's a, that's where you circle and get their attention. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, get their attention, and then from there, adhere to what they're telling you, you know, based on those light gun signals. And again, I'm not expecting you to memorize everything, because it's a lot to memorize. I'm expecting you to memorize the essentials. However, what myself... Larry, every other flight instructor in the nation, including the guy who's going to do your check right, is expecting is that you know where to find the information. This card that I'm giving to you, it's a three by five. I encourage you to print it out, laminate it, tape it with some packaging tape so it survives a little bit in the flight bag, whatever it is. Tape it to your knee board. My point is have it with you at all times because what's going to happen in any you know, emergency or just a, a, you know, an out of normal experience in the airplane is your brain starts racing. Just like on the check ride where you tend to kind of forget some things because you're put in that high pressure situation. Well, when and if it really does happen to you, are you even gonna remember those? Well, let's not even take that chance. Let's make sure we have the answers uh, in your flight bag, in your logbook, on your knee board, whatever it takes, wherever you know you're gonna have it each and every time before each and every flight. It's that important. So um, guys, on behalf of myself, Larry and the entire M0A.com team. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Coffee Break Flight Instruction Flight Train Tips in 15 minutes or less. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.